If you want to undervolt your RTX 5060 to get at the same time more performance, lower temperature, lower power consumption, lower noise, and even fix the coil wine, well, this is the right video for you. So welcome back at Wooden PC Woods, and here we are with yet another undervolting tutorial, this time on the smallest card so far from NVIDIA, the 5060. Now, this video is going to work for every single model from every single brand of 5060, so it doesn't matter which card you have. Today I'm using an MSI Ventus 2X, but if you have a Zota Casus, MSI Gigabyte Colorful, or even the GPU in some pre-builds, it's still going to work the same. Now, we're going to use two softwares, MSI Afterburner and Heaven Benchmark for this tutorial. You will find both of them down below in the description. You can also use the beta version for Afterburner if you're having issues with the program. It is something I've been encountering. And you can also unlock the memory clock to go all the way up to 3000 if you want. So with that said, let's get it to Windows. But before, I want you guys to just promise me one thing, okay? So in the end, if this video is actually going to be helpful after you followed my steps, please drop a like and subscribe so you can help me bring more of these videos. With that said, let's go into Windows. Let's start tweaking. Okay, here we are into Windows. So the first thing we want to do is open up MSI Afterburner and then open up Heaven Benchmark. Now, you want to run it with quality on Ultra, tessellation on Extreme, anti-aliasing on X8, and resolution at 2560 by 1440. Click on the Run. Now you want to hit the Windows key and bring Afterburner on top again. Now with Afterburner running in the background, we want to click on the Curve Editor right here, and the Curve is going to pull up. Now, the first preset I'm going to give you is going to be the most efficient one, the one which I recommend you guys try first, and the one which is going to give you slightly lower temperature, slightly more performance, basically the best from both worlds. So with that said, let's go ahead. You want to grab the 900 millivolt voltage point and hold Shift before clicking left click to drag the whole curve up until you hit around 2800 megahertz. Again, around, it can be slightly lower. For example, I'm setting mine to 2787. It's perfectly fine. And you then want to release left click and shift. Now you want to click on the void, hold shift, select the rightmost part of the curve, drag it down and flatten it out by hitting apply. Now double click on the void to reset this one. And as you can see, we're now running at around 2750 megahertz, which is our actual target clock. Now we want to go ahead on the memory clock, just unlock this all the way to 2000. This is going to work on every single card easily. If you do have the mod to unlock to 3000, you can also do 3000. I tested it on eight different 56s and it works on every single one of them. So this is plenty fine. And now if your card has a power limit slider, unlock it all the way. Mine doesn't, so I can't do it. But if you do, again, unlock it all the way to 110, whatever you can do. Now you want to hit Apply, hit Save, Save on one, click on one, hit Apply, go into Settings, Start with Windows, Start Minimized, hit OK, and then click here. Now, every single time you start your PC, this preset is going to be applied to your PC automatically. Now, a little disclaimer, OK? Around 1% of cars will have this not stable. So when you test this, you want to test this out in gaming. Heaven benchmark is not enough to test it out, OK? So do that. If it is not stable, you want to drop your clock by 50 megahertz. So even the most unlucky card can do 2750 there, which is going to be around 2700 actual clock. So if you're super unlucky, just do that, OK? And it's going to be plenty fine for you. And this is our first preset, the most balanced one. But what if you are a bit luckier? Well, if you're very lucky, I find you can go all the way up to 2850 on RTX 5060s at 900 millivolt. With that said, let's now show you a very good performance preset, OK? Now, the performance preset is, is going to work a lot better if you do have a power limit slider. If you don't, you're probably going to be slightly limited. But with that said, let's go ahead. So for this one, we're going to use the 975 millivolt preset. But as you can see, there is a little jump on the graph on the 1000 megahertz, no, on the 1000 millivolt voltage point. So if you do have a power limit slider, please use the 1000. It's going to be better. Here I don't have it, so I'm going to have to use the 975, okay? So we want to grab this and drag it all the way up to around 2900 megahertz, okay? Right around there. In my case, 2895. Then we click on the void, hold shift, flatten out the curve, hit apply, and here we are. We then want to max out the memory clock again and repeat the process of saving this up. Click on one, click apply. 
and your preset is now running perfectly. Now, if you are using the 1000 millivolt voltage point, please go all the way up to 3000 because 3000 is gonna work easily if you do have the power limit space and if you do have the voltage space. So it's gonna be plenty and it's gonna give you a very big performance improvement actually, especially the 1% lows. With that said, let's now cover the efficiency preset. So this one is if you don't care about FPS, you just want your car to run cooler, quieter, and better. And for this one, we're gonna use the 850 millivolt voltage point. However, if you care 0% about the actual performance, as you can see by this jump, the 825 millivolt voltage point is actually gonna be the best. But let's go ahead with the 850. So you wanna hold shift and drag the curve all the way up to 2550. At this point, flatten it out like this, and we're good to go. Now, if you're doing this just for efficiency, you definitely do not want to max out memory clock. There is no point. It's gonna increase your thermals a little bit, so don't do it. But if you do have a power limit, still max it out because it frees up headroom. And this is your efficiency spot. Now, if you do want to use the 825, I find you're stable at around 2500. So I would bring it up to around 2500, right there, flatten everything out and apply and be very happy with my results. And with that said, the video is fully over. So if you watched the video this far, please drop a like and subscribe as you promised me in the beginning and enjoy gaming. Also, if you have time, let me know down in the comments what your final 100 volt is gonna be. Bye-bye.